Hello, welcome back to a new video and welcome to my new office. So, I did a video last year, linked here, talking about exporting tech routes from Basecamp uh, and I got a few comments off that video asking how I got the Ordnance Survey maps I was using in Basecamp. So in this video, I'm going to show you where I found them, how much they cost, and how to get them in Basecamp. Let's dive into the computer and have a look. Okay, so in Basecamp standard view, we've just got, I've got a fairly basic map loaded here. It's the City Navigator map, which is from my Garmin Navigator 5, which gives you fairly detailed roads, but it's not on the survey quality by any stretch of the imagination. So, what we could do is go to Garmin and pay them £279.99, <laughs> but we don't want to do that. We go to a favourite auction site, and if we just search Garmin OS, you get various different options. Let's have a look at this one, for example, Britain Topographic Maps. OS 125, 1 to 150K for handheld GPS units. So these are sent as a micro SD card and you can use them on all of these devices. You can't use them on the latest Garmin Montana 700 series, but you can use them on the 500, which is like this one that I have here. Yeah. I can't speak to the legality of these or how people manage to do them at that price or how legitimate they are, but it's what I've done and worked for me. So once we've got our map, so I'm demonstrating here with my Garmin Montana because it's what I have and it's what I use it with. You basically get yourself a micro SD card in the post and that will have your maps loaded on it. Essentially, it comes as about five or six files with an individual file for each area location of the UK. So Scotland, Northwest, South, Southeast, that kind of thing. So put your SD card into the SD card slot, put your battery back in your device, plug your Garmin into your computer, so you'll get this message coming up on your Garmin. Do you want to go into USB mass storage? Just say yes. Goes then into USB mode and in your base camp, what you'll see is the Montana comes up and it's seeing the memory card and it's showing you the maps. So you've got East England, North England, North Scotland, South Scotland, West England and Wales. And literally all you do, let's look at North England. So double click to launch that map. And then if we zoom in, there we go. They are quite slow. They're like an image file, I think. <laughs> well, they are an image file, essentially, that overlays on the um, on the map. So they can be quite slow to work with. But they are your proper OS map. And if I open up, for example, a tech track, we can zoom in. Wait for it to load, and you can see that it's actually giving you, <coughs> in terms of the lanes, it's actually giving you the proper symbols, etc. What you do need to be careful is you don't necessarily know how recent these um, maps are. So just be wary and make sure that you're, if you're using the tech, use the um, very latest updated version downloaded from their website. Uh, or just make sure you're checking with local authorities that there aren't any restrictions on any of the lanes. Um, Cause some of the maps can be, I guess, out of date. Um, I think these maps I got in 2018, so they're labelled as 2018 maps. They may even be older than that, but um, obviously not being updated, so um, just be aware of that. But that is how you navigate or plan in Basecamp using OS maps. I can show you just quickly how you launch them on the device as well. 
Aaron is the slowest Garmin in the world. Two hours later. But yeah, as a comparison, these devices you can get secondhand for about £200, and those maps are about 25 quid. If you wanted to get, for example, the latest version of this, which is the 700, that's about five or six hundred pound for the device. And then you've still got to buy your maps on top of that, which is probably another 200 pound. Brilliant device, don't get me wrong, super fast, but these are equally capable. So go into your map, press on the uh, map options, set up map, select map information. And now you've got your list of all your maps. And these come up as exactly as you can see. So all you need to do is go into the map, enable it, and then when you come back out into your map, you'll have your OS. That's it really. Quick, simple little video. If you found it useful, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.